Hey, thank you for getting that last video to over 50 likes. That means we're now going to unbail the next bale. Um, this one's a Carhartt branded workwear mix. 25 kilos from Bulk Vintage Wholesale. This was 150 quid. And now, and now I'm going to have to Carhartt this upstairs. See what I did there? Hey, welcome back to Cookie and Hayden's. I'm Carboot Chris. I'm a full-time reseller. Part of what I deal with is clothing and especially sort of vintage clothing or retro clothing or whatever. Um, so let's have a little recap. Right. In the last video, if you saw it, I bought four bales, 25 kilogram each from Bulk Vintage Wholesale in their Black Friday sale. They were £150 each, and uh, that makes it £6 a kilo, which is pretty low, pretty low risk. Anyway, I asked you guys, if you liked the last video, if you got over 50 likes, I would unbail the next one. And thank you all, you did that, so therefore I'm here with the next unbailing. If you haven't seen that first video yet, please go back and watch. This one was a USA printed and branded sweater bale. Uh, that was the last video, so feel free to go back and watch. I'll link it above, I'll link it at the end. Okie dokie. So, today we're going to unveil the Carhartt and branded workwear mix. Now, Carhartt, Carhartt, Carhartt is not something that I've ever really bought before, but I know there is value in there. There's some good value in some Carhartt stuff. Branded workwear is something that can be worth money. I don't normally sort of buy much in that department. I have bought Dickies stuff before. Um, oh, what else? Probably just Dickies, really. That's the main one. So I'm interested to see what's in here. Somebody did comment on my last video to say they bought the same bale as this that I'm about to open. And they only got three Carhartt items, which was a bit disappointing. So, fingers crossed we get more Carhartt than branded workwear. Um, anyway, I'm going to crack this open. It's a bit tricky, so I've left you up there. But I am going to... You probably can't see it, but I'm going to cut it open live. Um, I've not opened this already, even though you can't see what I'm doing. If you wanted to, you could do, um, just to prove I'm opening it. Oh, there. There you go. I'm going to crack on with it. Crack it open, Chris. And let's hope we get, I'm hoping for more than three Carhartt items. Because that would be a bit of a, a bit of a, a downer from Bulk Vintage if they put the, the brand Carhartt on this bale just to try and sell it. That would be a bit sneaky, wouldn't it? Um, you'd like to think it would be 50-50, but I'm guessing it's not going to be. Oh, the other thing I'm hoping that it's not too much of, and that's trousers, because for some reason I just hate listing trousers and I hate listing jeans. I really do, but already I'm seeing a lot of trousers here straight away. Um, so there you go, that's the uh, bale. <clears throat> what we'll do again, like we did in the last video, is we'll add up the number of pieces, divide it by £150, and we'll see what the per piece price is. The per piece price. Okay, oh crikey, there's a lot of trousers here. I'm not going to enjoy listing these. Unless, of course, there's tons of value in it. Um, which it could be. Um, these are meant to, right, if it's not Carhartt, it's meant to be branded workwear. So let's work off that because I made a bit of a boo-boo on the last one. I, I thought it was all USA printed and it wasn't. So straight up, we've got Dickies trousers. These look like they've never been worn. I don't actually know what Dickies trousers are worth. I would imagine 
I would imagine 10 to 20 pounds to be vague about it. And if that's the case, I'm sure we're gonna have value in here. So a pair of green Dickies trousers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pile it all up over there. This should be fairly quick if they all end up being Dickies. Um, these are Dickies Flex shorts, slim fit shorts. They look okay. Um, there's got to be decent value in them. I know Dickies is a good brand. Um, how many times can I say Dickies in this video, do you think? Uh, what size are them? I don't know. I don't know what size they are. I don't know. I'll find out. Okay, so we've got Dickies shorts, Dickies trousers so far. Um, some more Dickies shorts. Fair flex as well. Lots of shorts, another pair. These look like they've never been worn, to be honest, which is great. This is this gives me better value. What do you reckon on these? £10 each on shorts? More shorts. Wrong time of year, really. So, um, if all else fails, what I'll probably do is the shorts, I'll just, I'll leave back a bit. There's no rush to get shorts listed. Uh, even though they are workwear shorts, so, you know, but no major rush to get them on, you know, like if it was in the middle of summer. These are Dickies jeans. There's got to be some value in that. Fort Worth, Texas. Ah, oh, not seen any Carhartt yet. More shorts. With the brand on the back, I'm trying not to say the word. The one time YouTube will let you get away with saying Dickies more than once. Uh, oh, they are big shorts. They are, they are massive shorts. Again, brand new. To be, these just, these look like brand new. These look like surplus, you know, like surplus stock or new old stock or whatever you call it. They're not tagged, but they're in perfect condition other than the, the mega creases that you get with these bales. Another pair of trousers. Oh, this is like my worst nightmare right now. All these trousers. I mean, I guess it's going to be relatively easy because when I come to list it, especially if I do them in batches, so I'll do all the shorts together, then I'll do all the trousers, I'll put them into order like jeans, trousers, shorts. Should be relatively quick. Another big pair of shorts there. These are genuine dickies, apparently. Genuine dickies. They must be genuine if they say the word genuine on. They're kind of like jean shorts. Yeah. You know, is it... I really don't know the value of these shorts. You know, drop us a comment below if you... Um, if you know what these dickies shorts are worth. Or pants. Well, these are all right. Again, look, never worn. These ones are, have got Subaru on them. So possibly, you know, like from a Subaru garage or something, maybe this is their like official work wear or something. So that's not bad. I like the fact that it's got the Subaru on the, on the side. Oh, this is just never ending pile of pants. Another pair of shorts, again, brand new. Shame they've not got tags on. That would be that would be much better. Another pair of shorts, blue ones this time. If any of you guys are interested in any of these, uh, any items in any of the bales, indeed any item that is on the channel that you see me unbox, you can always message me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, if you're interested, I'll always do a good deal for viewers, subscribers especially. So just make sure you're subscribed. Some pants there, like, uh, are they like combat pants? Sort of combat pants. I, I don't see anything that's used at the moment. But I am literally going to go stir crazy if this whole bale is Dickie's pants. Another pair of shorts. I'm already going mental just looking at it. It's hurting me. Uh like combat shorts, 
Yeah, this. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got a car heart, folks. Hold your horses. There's a car heart here. What is it? Let's have a look. It looks like a hoodie jacket. A hoodie jacket, but it's got branding on the back. But it is car heart. Size large. What is the brand on it? Mechanical something. Is, is Carhartt um, like a workwear brand? Is that why these two are together? I'm not aware of that, but maybe Carhartt is typically like a workwear brand, but I can't even read it. Depew, it's a Depew Mechanical. So it's it's probably not going to be like worth a lot. And there's a few little holes in it. So probably minimal value. That's a real shame. That's the first piece that's not been Dickies. I'm going to put that in another pile. I'm going to put that down here because I'm guessing there's not, not going to be many of those. Looking at what we've had so far. Oh, we've got another Carhartt. That's two pieces. I'm almost at the... Uh, Oh, that's quite nice. Look at that. It's got the, the US flag and patch on the arm there. That's quite a nice piece, that. Carhartt. It's obviously workwear. Um, you can see there. I don't know what the company is, but we'll look it up. But it's a 2XL. Quite a nice shirt, that with the USA flag on it. Yeah, that's a nice... That's nice. I like that. Right, let's resume the, the other... The other brand. Oh... We've got another Carhartt. They must have been putting them in, in like batches because we've got some like frayed cut off jeans that are Carhartt. Now, whether they originally started life like that or they've been upcycled or you know what I mean? I'll have to look at the, the label. It looks genuine. Not that I really know because I've not bought Carhartt before, but the, the label looked okay. But there's some like cut off work jeans. So that's three pieces. I've matched the the viewer that uh, commented. Sorry, I, I can't remember the YouTube name. Okay, another pair of very very big um, pants. These these were in a Goodwill in the US for four dollars forty nine. Obviously, no takers at four dollars fifty. I'm sure I can get more than that in the UK. Oh, there's so many pants here. Oh, these are dungarees. These look like dungarees. What the heck is this? These are Carhartt. I've got four pieces. I had to look at me on then. Four pieces of Carhartt in this. Now, these are like big dungarees. Look at this. <laughs> they are very big. Oh, this is gonna take. That's gonna be a nightmare to list it, isn't it? And photograph. Uh, there is some little, a bit of paint mark on there. Um, and designer hole in the knee. But we'll take it. See, We've no idea the value of that. No clue whatsoever. So that's four pieces there now. Um, some interesting. Oh. Another, oh, what kind of work environment would you wear those in? Dickies shorts. Oh, oh, there's so many pants here. Oh, got another Carhartt. Carhartt jeans this time. That's more like it. Um, tomboy fit. What is tomboy fit? Uh, 18, 18 regular. I don't know what a tomboy fit is. No doubt I'll find out. What's this? Another Carhartt piece. These are black jeans. Look like a big size. Uh, 44, 32. So a big, big pair of jeans. Looks like they need a bit of a wash. Uh, but there you go. 
I can't give you any values on these. I literally have zero clue. So feel free to make comments. If you, uh, oh, there's another Carhartt. These are, a, these are a big pair of jeans as well. What size are these? These are 46, 46, 32 relaxed fit. Um, there you go. Bit of a mark on the bum. But it's not, at least it's not all dickies. It was what I was expecting. Uh, what are these? Carhartt again. It looks like the top half were Dickies and the bottom half are Carhartt. Um, so there you go. We've got some black jeans of a big size again. I mean, big sizes can be good because they are sought after. So I'm not bothered that they're a big size. These have got some wear on them. Definitely. You can see why they've been donated at some point. But they are a big size. Uh, these are a 4630. Right. What else we got? I used to get some jumpers or some shirts or something rather than all pants. I've got another car hat. There you go. Another one. Another big pair. Um, these are these are quite worn, but again, forty six thirty. Um, you can see like the bottoms very worn. Might be worth something to somebody. Maybe they like. Oh, oh in the title of that one, though, they will be distressed. That is the trendy word, distressed. We have got a shirt here. This looks like the other shirt that I had. This looks similar. Is it similar? Yeah, exactly the same. So that's a, a double listing, multi-listing inventory. So whoever wore this shirt was in charge of inventory. Maybe I should wear it, be in charge of my own inventory. Um, but it's quite nice, I like it. It's got the American flag on it, the logos, and now inventory on that. So yeah, it's too big for me, unfortunately. It's a 2XL, but... That's what I want more of. I'd rather have the shirts, to be honest. Um, Carhartt pair of, they're quite, they're not bad at all. Pair of um, combat shorts. They're quite nice. Size 38, so too big for me, but not bad at all. That's probably the best pair of shorts we've got. What's this? I, I asked for jumpers. I've got a hoodie. You've seen it first. I don't know what it is. It is Carhartt. Where it's Core Minerals something or other. So it's a branded workwear. And there is a hole there, which is a bit annoying. Um, yeah, I can't really do much about that. So that's going to... That could kill it. That could kill it, really, because not only is it branded a random organisation, but but it's also got a hole in it. It's got another hole in it as well. Very worn. Probably won't be able to salvage that. Another Carhartt, this time a pair of shorts. Um, a little bit worn, but kind of combat shorts, like a stone grey sort of colour. 36 waist. Are these Carhartt as well? Another pair of shorts, look like it. Yep. So I've certainly done all right on the split of the two brands. Grey shorts. Bit worn, but probably still got life in them. Um, A lot of these shorts are going to go away and come spring, I'll get them listed. These have got marks on them, but again, it's Carhartt's black jean shorts. Got some like bleach marks on them, worn, distressed. We're not far off the end of this um, bale. Um, another pair of Carhartt shorts. 
distress dial, some paint splashes on them. I've got some camo shorts. These are Carhartt as well. Looks like I've done all right here for, for Carhartt stuff. I'm fed up of saying these two brand names now. I'm not saying them again. Um, yeah, they're all right then. If you like that kind of thing. Pair of jeans. Oh, well, well used, distressed. Um, yeah. I'll have to look at whether it's worth listing them. They've got bits of black shit all over them. Like, obviously used for workwear, but there's the brand. And a pair of jeans. Again, you guessed it. Quite big sizes in these jeans. Like I say, I'm not bothered about that. Not bothered at all. Another big size, same brand again. We're on a roll here, aren't we? Oh, my arm's aching now. What's this one? A pair of shorts, same brand again. Um, some marks on these I can see. Not too bad. Just like a little bit of an oily stain on the front there. Not bad, really. Probably life in them still. Uh, what's this? Um, a very light, sort of thin pair of um, jeans wear. 38, 34. But yeah, again, sort of marks on them like, you know... There's the brand in, I said, I'm not saying, I'm not going to keep saying it. So. It's either that or that. There's no middle ground. What's this? And finally, a pair of beige shorts. Again, a few marks on them. Well, more than a few marks. What do you reckon? Is it, you know, am I even going to be able to sell? I mean, that's been used by a painter decorator by the looks of it. Am I even going to be able to get any money back on that kind of damage? That kind of distressed paint marks. You know, is it worth even trying to list them? What do you think? You guys might know. You know, you've sold these brands before. Drop us a comment. Is it worth it? I'm not sure. And that is everything, guys. So, to be fair, I think that's pretty much a 50-50 split of okay, Dickies and Carhartt. Um, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. If you want me to open the next bale, because I've got another two more to go, then I'm going to require a slightly higher level of likes this time. Um, what should we say? 75. If we get to 75 likes on this video, I'll open the next bale, which will either be Disney or um, Harley Davidson Hard Rock Cafe. One of, one of those. So give us a thumbs up if you want to see what's in the next one. I think this has been okay. Remember, £150 a lot. So before I 100% decide if it's okay, I'm going to see what the price per piece is. I'm going to add these up now. So there's all the dickies. All pants. There's no t-shirts, whatever, um, shirts. And these are all the Carhartts. Yeah, you can see all the stains on that. I mean, is that worth it? I don't even think that's going to be worth even trying to sell those. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Anyway, listen, I'm going to just count these up now. Right, I've counted it up. There was uh, 18 pairs of Dickies. And to be fair to them, I think they were all new without tags. Um, there were 23 Carhartt items, so I think I did okay there. So that's a total of 41 items, and that makes it a price per piece of £3.65. So I don't think that's too bad at all, really. Um, I think the shorts and the jeans from Dickies, um, I had a quick, very quick scan there on eBay. Mm, maybe £10 to £20 a piece on those, maybe. Maybe a little bit more on some, a bit less on others. But I think mainly because they are unworn. I might be able to push sort of 15 to 20 on some of those. The Carhartt's a bit more difficult to deal with because it's 
all used. Um, there's some branded stuff for companies there, which had been bought a bit more difficult. There's some shirts in there, which were nice. Um, but on the whole, I think the Carhartt should achieve a higher average price than the Dickies. Um, so £3.65 per piece across the board. Actually, I don't think that's a bad deal at all. Definitely money to be made. Um, the only thing is I don't like listing trousers and jeans. It really is one of my pet hates. I don't really know why. Maybe because it's a pain in the ass to photograph. And also the return rate is higher as well because people's waists are very, very different sometimes to what an actual brand measures itself as. Um, so the returns rate can be higher. Anyway, um, don't forget, if you do like this video and you want to see what's in the next bail, we need 75 likes this time. Otherwise, we're not going to... I'll crack it open for myself. 75 likes required. Um, thank you so much for watching the last one. If you want to go back and watch it, you can do. By now, all four videos might be out. You can go and find them all. I'll link them all at the end or go and visit the channel and have a little browse. Um, and that's it for today. Um, don't forget to subscribe too. Um, we go live on a Monday night at 8pm. Every single Monday, 8pm. It's a lot of fun. Me and Belle. And um, yeah, join us there. So take care. See you soon. Bye.